Hello and welcome to another Let's Draw with Procreate. In this tutorial, we'll be completing this squishy inspired ice lolly illustration. I have created a stamp set and color palette for you to download. The link to those are in the description below. You will need a canvas size of 2000 by 2000 pixels at 300 DPI. And when you're ready, let's draw. Once you've created your canvas, we are gonna choose this first color on the color palette and on layer one, we are gonna drag and drop that color in. We are then going to create a new layer. We're going to use this color here and with our selection tool on rectangle and color fill, you can zoom out a little bit so you've got room around your canvas. We are just gonna drop some color in at the top we are then going to this pink, go back to our rectangle with color fill turned on and drop that pink on the bottom like so. We are then going to our Gaussian blur under the magic wand tool and we're gonna blur that out to around 60% and tap when you are finished. We are then going to lower the opacity down to 70% 70, 70 you can then merge those two layers together and create a new layer then going to choose this color in the color palette we are going to use our monoline brush it doesn't really matter what size the brush is at this point we're just going to go ahead and draw in a circle hold your pen in place tap one finger on the screen to make it a perfect circle we are then going to drag and drop that color in. We are then going to our move tool in the uniform option with snapping turned on. We are going to move that into the center vertically of the canvas. You'll see the orange line running down the center of your circle. We are then going to activate our drawing guide under the wrench tool. We are going to edit drawing guide, symmetry, and hit done once you are ready. We are then going to liquefy under the magic wand tool. And when you adjust on one side, it will mirror on the other. We just want to make our lolly this sort of shape. So flat at the bottom, like a rounded square. So I've got it in push mode, the size, we're gonna to have to play around with it. I'm gonna start at around 70% and then just bring that bottom up so it's kind of flat. And then I'm going to bring this one up and then move it out to the side like so. And then once you've got a shape that's similar to this, we can then exit that option and then we can actually remove that line by going to your wrench tool and turning off the drawing guide. We are then just going to move that down a little bit like so. And now we want to add the pink drippy frosting on top of our ice lolly. We are going to create a new layer. We are going to clip in mask it we are then going to choose this pink and with our monoline brush, I've got my brush set to 40%. We're just going to draw some squiggles like so and then drag and drop the colour in. And you can actually go to the liquify tool and in push mode and then you can make adjustments, straighten it up a little bit, maybe bring it down until it looks something like this. We are then going to create a new layer and we're gonna drag that underneath. It's automatically clipped onto the blue layer, that's fine. We're just gonna add some shadows under the frosting. We are gonna to go to the blending mode of multiply. We are going back to this color here and with our monoline brush maxed out, we're just going to very roughly drop in some shadows underneath our frosting. It doesn't have to be perfect. We are going to our Gaussian Blur 
and then we're going to slide to the right until we get around the 10% mark and then tap on the magic wand tool when you are done. We are then going to create a new layer, but drag it above the pink frosting. Again, it should be clipped, that's fine. We are then going to double tap here to choose white. I'm just gonna bring down my monoline brush to about 60%, and then I'm just gonna very roughly put it a highlight on the right hand side of our frosting. We are then going to Gaussian Blur to around, again, nine or 10%. And there is our frosting completed. We are now going to add in the face by creating a new layer. We can actually clip and mask it for just in case. And then we are going to choose this color here in the color palette. And with our dots stamp, we are going to go around the 35% mark and then drop the eyeball there. We can then just maybe move it down a little bit and then we are gonna create a new layer. We are going to choose this color here in the color palette. We are going to bring that down to around 15% and drop a highlight. We are then going to choose this color in the color palette and we're gonna bring that down to maybe 5% and then drop a highlight at the top like that. We are then going to choose this color in the color palette. We are going to our star stamp and I've got it down at 1% and then we're gonna drop the star highlight like so. We are then going to create a new layer, but we're going to drag it underneath the eye layer we are going to choose this color in the color palette and with our monoline brush, again, it doesn't really matter the size here, I'm just gonna bring mine down to 40. We're just going to add in an oval, hold your pen in place, tap one finger on the screen to make it perfectly horizontal and then you can actually just fill that in by hand. And there's our little cheek. We are then going to pinch those layers together with the eye we're going to click on it. We are going to swipe to the left and duplicate. We are then going to move this eye to the left. Something like that looks about right. And then we are going to swipe left and duplicate the cheek. And we are going to move that over to the left as well. And I think what we can do is if we select all the layers by swiping to the right, we can then move that and place it into the center of our lolly. We are then going to the top layer, create a new layer, go back to this brown color. And with our monoline brush selected at, I would say 40%, we can then just draw in Actually, let's bring that up a little bit to around 50% and then draw in our little smile. Like so. And then tap one finger on the screen and then we can actually position that into the center. And that's our smiley face completed. I just want to adjust the shape of the head a little bit. So we are gonna to go to layer two and then we're gonna swipe to the right on just these four layers. And then we can go to liquefy and then we can, in the push mode, we can just start making some more adjustments on the actual shape of our lolly. And there we go. And you can hit the arrow tool when you are done. We are now going to add in the little stick at the bottom. So we need to go to layer one. We want to create a new layer by hitting the plus sign. We are going to choose this color here. And using our monoline brush, we're gonna draw a circle. Hold your pen in place, tap one finger on the screen, drag and drop the color in. We are then going to move that into, going to move it into the center until you see that vertical line that orange line. 
We are then going to create a new layer. We are gonna to go to our selection tool under rectangle with color fill turned on, and we're just gonna draw in a rectangle. And what we want to do, you can zoom in, we just want to match that rectangle up with our circle. So we can go to our move tool and in free form, we're gonna grab these nodes and pull them and stretch them to the sides. And then maybe make that a little bit smaller until you've got something like this, until it's kind of lined up nicely. Then we are gonna pinch those two layers together and actually we can duplicate that, go to our bottom layer. We are going to select the blending mode of multiply. We are then going to our arrow tool and then we can zoom out just a little bit. We are gonna tap to the left and then down just a little bit to give it some volume. We actually want to add some volume here as well. So we are gonna to go to layer two, swipe to the right on all of those layers and we're gonna group them. We're gonna collapse the group. We're gonna to swipe to the left and duplicate. We're gonna to go to the bottom group and we are going to flatten. We are then going to the blending mode of multiply. We're gonna to go to our arrow tool, and again, we're gonna just tap to the left and down just a little smidge until you've got a shape just like that. I just wanna go in and remove this little section here. So we're gonna to go to layer 11, the bottom one that's got the multiply. We're gonna to go to our eraser tool set to the monoline brush and we are going to set the size nice and small probably around one or two percent and then just carefully erase that overlap there i also actually just want to line this up here so we can then go to our layer two with the multiply option we're going to go to our move tool we're going to go to warp and then we're just going to move that up and maneuver it around until it kind of lines up. Again, it doesn't have to be perfect until you get something that looks a little bit like that. That is absolutely perfect. Actually, I'm just gonna go in and move that in a little smidge. So until it looks something like that, that's perfect. We are now gonna add our sprinkles on top of our ice lolly. And we're gonna go to the top layer, hit the plus sign to create a new layer. With our monoline maxed out, we are going to use this color here and we're just gonna drop in some sprinkles. So we wanna just draw a line, hold your pen in place in some random areas like so, switching out to this color like that. And then we're gonna choose this color here in the color palette and just drop in a few more of these sprinkles on our ice lolly, like so. We are then going to create a new layer. We are going to clip and mask it to our sprinkles. We are gonna double tap here to select white. We're gonna bring our monoline brush down to, I'd say around 60%. No, it's still too big. Let's go for 40%. And then we're gonna just drop in a highlight onto our sprinkles, like so. Oh. It really doesn't have to be super perfect. You can use the edit option to move your highlights around. Edit shape, maybe stretch that out a little bit. And then one over here. We're gonna go to our magic wand tool, Gaussian blur, and then blur that out to around 7%. We are then going to this layer here. We are going to duplicate it. The bottom layer, we are going to select alpha lock. We are then going to go to this color here in the color palette and then tap on the layer and fill. 
We are then going to remove the alpha lock. We're going to go to our move tool under uniform. And then we're just going to tap to the left and down just slightly, a few pixels. And then we're going to go to our magic wand tool. We're going to go to our Gaussian blur. And then we're going to blur that out to around 5%. And then let's just lower that opacity down to around 80%. We are now going to select all the layers, but not the background. And then we just, I just want to scale this little fella and pop him into somewhat the middle, just like so. And then go to layer one, hit the plus sign, and with your monoline brush selected with this brown color, we are just gonna draw a little shadow at the bottom. Hold your pen in place for an oval. Tap one finger on the screen. We are then going to drag and drop the color in. And then we can just move it so that we've got it into the center. Something like that is about right. I'm just gonna move it over to the... You can just tap on the screen to move a pixel at a time as well. So something like that looks pretty good. Then we're gonna to go to our Gaussian Blur under the Magic Wand tool, and then blur that out to around five or six percent, and then tap when you are done. We then want to lower the opacity down to around, let's see, 65%. I just want to adjust the shape in free form and then just make it a little thinner. And this is our illustration complete. Thank you so much for watching until the end. If you're on Instagram, please come and tag me in. I would love to see your finished artwork and I will share them to my stories. I'll give you a shout out over there. I just wanna say a big thank you to Joel Create for featuring my cute ramen bowls over on his Patreon. I really appreciate that. I'll leave Joel's details in the description below as well. Go and check his IG account, it's absolutely amazing. And with all that said, thanks for watching. Until the next time, see ya.